With the changing weather, farmers need to make their farms stronger so that they can survive the hard times. This is called Climate Smart. And our expert John from SeaArt is here to tell us how to do that. John, how can farmers be climate smart and be able to adapt to climate change? One of the issues that uh, we have to focus on is soil. Our soil is the one which will be able to protect us and be able to give us food. One of the issues that we shall be able to focus on is really looking at climate smart agriculture practices. One of the issues which is coming up and is that is the rapid population. And rapid population is putting pressure on the land resources that we have, which are decreasing. And in terms of soil, one of it is like soil erosion, which is washing out some of the nutrients out of the fields, going down downstream. And that one that cannot be used by the crop. So, what can Mosetti and Gideon here do to adapt to climate smart agriculture? The farmer can adapt to this changing climate through conservation agriculture. We are encouraging farmers to go in for crop rotation, like soybean, which has a lot of foliage. When it is dry, the farmer will only just cut out the seeds and leave all the other litter in the farm. After really harvesting, all that crop residues should be left on the farm. And also we are encouraging farmers to go in for agroforestry trees, like Kaliandra. He will feed it for, life, for livestock, but use it also as a soil improvement and it will assist the crop tree to get the nutrients from the soil. Another option is it like a, a farmer who is practicing, who, who has livestock, he can use farmyard manure. And farmyard manure has a micronutrients, has also nitrogen, it might not be high quantities, but at least it, depending on the quality of the farmyard manure he has, he can use that as a resource. Which kind of manure we can use in order to improve our soil? The farmyard manure, you can use it from all. It might be cow manure, goat manure, get it even from the chicken. But the problem is we don't have enough. So whatever little you have, put it just on the farm. Even compost, if you have, put it on the farm. To make good manure for your shamba, collect all the farmyard manure from your animals once a week. Put the manure in a shaded place and allow it to rot. Turn the manure every month. Add fresh manure to one end of the pile so you can start using the manure from the other end. How about soil testing? We encourage farmers to take their soils for soil testing so that they understand their soils and then get the remedies for those problems. Take for example, a farmer can easily look at the symptoms in the farm and say this is what is deficient. And when the crop is still young, you will always see these leaves showing purplish color and that is deficient in phosphorus. They have to look for mineral fertilizer which is the phosphorus base and this one we have NPK and they, they can address that. One of the issues which farmers can identify at this young tender stage you will always find leaves dry from outside going inside. That is K deficiency, I'm a potassium deficiency. And from some of the fertilizers that you will be able to get out, that's out, out there is called a muret of water. You can address that if you see that problem. So it is upon the farmer first of all to take his soils or her soils to, for soil testing and he will know exactly what are deficient nutrients in his soils.